King University Director of Athletic Communications, Travis Chell, joined with uh, head golf coach Brian Cam. Uh, it's been a been an interesting spring. Normally, you'd be on the golf course. I think a conference championship. The men's one was scheduled for for this week. Um, talk about kind of when when everything kind of came came to a close here in the middle of March. You were coming back from a women's tournament. Um, just talk about kind of how your team reacted to that and, and just having the season ended. Yeah, it was. Uh, we were we were at a tournament over at Barton, and uh, we were driving back and. And uh, we had gone through Greensboro, and the ACC basketball tournament was going on. And you saw things started happening. I think the basketball, the NBA had stopped playing. And all of a sudden, everything hit the fan there. And I was thinking, we stopped to get some food on the way back. And I was at a Chick-fil-A, and I'm going, well, i got to be careful what I touch here, you know, making sure we wash our hands, talking to the team about, you know, really watching that. And then the next day, everything happened. They started canceling stuff. You know, one tournament canceled this, and then the next conference canceled that, and then yeah, everybody followed suit so that's kind of what happened there yeah how was it were you able to talk to your teams uh see them before i mean it was spring break so the women were still there were you able to time to talk to them and have a moment before everyone kind of went their separate ways yeah um as as we got back it really happened because it, it was spring break and then and then we extended spring break uh for for the campus so i just got on you know got on the phone and started talking with people about what's going on and, and things changed so quickly one day we were doing this and the next day we were doing that you know it changed it was such a fluid situation that things changed so fast it was hard to really get a handle of what was going on yeah, and talk about how your interactions have been with your team and how they've been adjusting to the online classes here for the rest of the semester as we're, we're about to go into finals and, and kind of conclude everything here. Yeah, they've been well. I, I, I get on the phone with uh, two or three of them every day, FaceTime or talking with them and finding out how, you know, how everything is going online. Is I, I just want to make sure that they're doing okay and if there's a situation that I can help them with it. But, uh, but everything has been going fine. They're all talking about, you know, finals and, and i think they're ready for it to get over and uh and get their finals in there it's kind of disappointing we're not going to have a commencement this year and uh i know we've uh, worked with that and, and our seniors uh it, it's you know we we do kind of a special thing every year with our seniors and we weren't able to do that this year and mm -hmm. um you know with i got kids overseas i got so many internationals on my team that it's very difficult i had some that were on campus i had some that I didn't know if they wanted to go home because in their countries that the virus was worse than it was here. So yeah. it was a difficult situation. I, I really was in contact with those kids every day and all the time. What do you do? And let me know. What do your parents think? Where are you the safest? And and that yeah. was really my, my main focus for my for the kids and the team. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, talk a little bit about the golf this year. Uh, the men had a, had a pretty good year going there, won a tournament. Um, played pretty well in another one. Uh, talk about how that went this year for, for both teams. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the guys team, it, it was good. Uh, we, won, we won our first tournament in probably, I think, four or five years, maybe three or four years, we won our first tournament, uh, had, had an individual champion. Uh, we, were, we were starting to play well. We had just finished a tournament a, a week before the, the virus came about, and uh, uh, if it wasn't for a scorecard mistake, we would have we would have won that tournament and another individual champion. So we were looking forward to conference coming up, and it was really wide open. That we, we well definitely had a chance to win it and move into postseason play. Um, on the on the girls' side, you know they kept improving all year. They were getting better. Our freshmen, uh, I can see Grace really getting a lot better uh, by the end of her career. Her last tournament, she started shooting some of her best numbers. Uh, you know, Riley's improvement was there. You know, Sasha uh, had, had played well pretty much all year and was really starting to improve. Uh, and Morgan had had the lowest stroke average he's ever had. So I was really, really proud of where the girls have, have improved throughout the year. Yeah, and that kind of sets up for next year. How, how's everyone looking for next year? I guess improvement is great and, and good to see that. How, you ready for, for the 2020 season to kick off? Oh, yeah. Yeah, We're looking forward to that. I mean, making plans – with you know, we're really kind of in the dark about exactly how how uh, fall sports are gonna how they're gonna be. Um, are we gonna be able to start right away in August? Are we gonna wait until September? So you know, I'm we're all having to be really fluid and make plans for what whatever happens. We're gonna be ready for it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the tournament schedules, being able to change them and move them around. So I've done a lot of work on that aspect and talked to other coaches. So, uh, but I'm I'm looking forward to getting it back. You know, I, I miss I miss my team. You know, I eat lunch with them every day and spend a lot of time with them, and uh, I'm not able to do that. So it's been, uh, you know, it's 
been a, one of those things that I, I really enjoyed spending time with them. We can't do that right now. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people in, in college athletics feel that same way of missing people on campus and miss going to campus too. Yeah. They, they keep you young. You get with these young kids, these 18, 19 year old kids and you spend time with them. It kind of, it kind of makes you feel good. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us today, coach and, and stay safe. All right. Thank you. Bye.